Hello everyone and welcome! In this video, we will show you how to work with work breakdown structure. In order to add VBS to your project, just go to that specific project, find there the tab module and put a check mark next to VBS module. Oh, and don't forget to save. Now you can see that the VBS module appeared in the top menu over here. Let's click on it and see how it works. So here you can see our project in red. You can easily add new nodes to it, also known as children, by using either tab or insert key. So for example, the first part of work can be analysis. To create further siblings to the task analysis, simply press enter. After that, we will add design and design will be followed by front-end development. After that, we will do back-end implementation. So using VBS, I can easily define the deliverables, which are these chunks of work over here, which then will be further broken down into specific activities. So after the back-end implementation, we can carry out some testing and afterwards launch it for production. Uh, so these are the major deliverables. Let's save them by either clicking save button or pressing Ctrl S. So now it's saved. By the way, you can find the manual to all the hotkeys in menu over here. Now I can add some more detailed activities. So just press insert key and we can add, for example, analysis of client needs. And I can add some more tasks here as well. So using VBS, I can easily create the decomposition of the whole project. For example, I can add further tasks here as well. If I would like to specify some details to a certain task, I can just click on this exclamation mark over here and make all the necessary changes. Once you are done with the portion of work, don't forget to save it. You can see now that everything is saved. Now, we have different coloring options. We can color it according to compilation percentage by status or according to the user. But this project is very new, so it's relatively homogeneous, as you can see. I will show you already existing project to give you a better understanding of this feature. Here you can easily see that different tasks have different trackers, and they're different in their level of completion and their current statuses. But this is basically the whole point of work breakdown structure, that you can easily create the complete project decomposition. Some last comments about the different buttons here. Here you can see the undo and redo button. You can turn the legend on and off. And here you can easily zoom in and out of your project decomposition. And lastly here you can find the filters. And that's it. Thank you for watching and good luck.